In this ultimate baritone buyer's guide video, we're gonna go over the best baritone ukuleles. Doesn't matter if you're just getting started or you're a pro. Welcome to You Collect the Pros, I'm Terry Carter. Thanks for being here. And thanks also for subscribing to the channel and turning on that bell notification. So in this baritone buyer's guide for you, we're gonna go over a bunch of baritones here, four different brands, Kala, Ohana, Cordoba, and the kind of lay. Doesn't matter what your budget is. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a pro. So we're totally crazy here about baritone. At youcollectthepros.com, we got baritone courses. We also do weekly baritone Q and A. So anyway, once you figure out what baritone's best, I want you to come on over and join me over there. So are you ready? Let's go ahead and dive into these baritones. All right, so let's get a couple of basics out of the way. First of all, we're talking about the baritone ukulele. When you think of that, you want to think of the baritone tuning, which is different than the soprano, tenor, and the concert ukulele. We're going to be using D, G, B, and E. So this is very similar to a guitar tuning. Of course, we only have four strings. Normal soprano concert tenor is G, C, E, A. So just know right off the bat that the baritone is tuned differently. When you're talking about baritone, you're also talking about a bigger body instrument as well as a longer scale length. What does that mean? The scale length is from the nut here to the saddle. And most baritones, oh, about 20 inches. Some are a little bit longer than that, 20 and a quarter. Some are a little shorter, 19 and a half. But that's your general length is going to give you a little bit of a longer neck, more space between the frets, and a little bit wider nut here for your finger. So uh, so that's first thing, you gotta get that out of the way. Next is, we wanna talk about laminate wood versus solid wood. So each one of these is gonna be different. So I got the laminate one, I got some solid tops, and then I got all solid woods. We're gonna dive into these so you really have a clear understanding of each one. All right, here we go, let's do the first one. We're gonna start off with the Kala KAB. This is like the standard, basically great for a beginner, Great price for these. This is all laminate. So that means mahogany top, laminate, mahogany sides, and back, but laminate wood. And so that's gonna do a couple things. One, it's gonna keep the price down. So it's a great kind of instrument if you're just getting started, don't wanna spend a lot, just wanna make sure you like the baritone. These sound great. But let me play it so you hear the sound of the laminate wood. Actually, sounds pretty good. But laminate wood generally is not really a warm wood. It just kind of a, you know, kind of kind of has a little bit more of the, a brighter sound, um, kind of good projection. But uh, to be honest with you, this one sounds pretty good. But again, all laminate, great beginner you, the KAB. Next, we're going to jump into the Ohana BK70R. Now, this one, this one has a solid spruce top, so solid wood here, but laminate rosewood sides and back, right? So as you get into the solid woods, even just solid top or all solid, the price is gonna go up a little bit, but generally speaking, the solid wood is gonna have a little bit more of a natural sound, a little bit more of that natural overtones that you hear in music. All right, let's play this one. Now, the spruce top, spruce tops in general have a lot of projection on a fairly a bright wood. So when you combine that with the rosewood laminate, you're gonna have a pretty bright sound. So this one is gonna be, at least perceived, the sound's gonna be bigger and more projection than just the mahogany laminate, all right? So again, this is the Ohana BK70R. Let's do the next one. All right, the next we have the Cordoba 20BM baritone. Now this one is a solid mahogany top, but then laminate mahogany sides and back, all right? And by the way, everything here in this video is available at the number one store online. That is store.youcollectthepros.com. So check that out. We'll put links to all of these in the description. So anyway, let's see what the solid mahogany top sounds like. All 
that again, the solid top should just produce a little bit of a warmer sound than just the all laminate. And definitely compared to that spruce top, right? It's just not quite as in your face as it. But anyway, this is a great sounding uke as well. This is a Cordoba 20 BM. All right, now we're getting into my favorite bare tones that I have the next three. I really like a lot. This one is the Kala SS. E-B-Y-B-C-E. -E. It's a pretty long name. I sell a bunch of these at store.youcollectopros.com. But this one has a solid spruce top. And then it has laminate striped ebony sides in the back. I love the way this one looks. I like the way it sounds. It also has a pickup. I'll talk more about that in a second. And also a cutaway. Okay, let's check this one out. All right, I've loved these right when I first started selling them. They just feel really nice. They're, they're a bare toe, but they don't feel overly big. Um, they have a really nice low profile neck. Of course, the Fishman pickup is nice. And you plug it in right there. Um, it's a nicer pickup than a lot of the kind of beginner ukes uh, have. Now, as you're starting to get into the solid tops, as I mentioned, and the nicer pickup, the price is, is gonna go up a little bit um, with these things. but. I think it's well worth it for this particular one. Now you have a cutaway here, and this cutaway just gives you a little bit of access to the higher frets. Plus, I actually think it looks pretty cool. So anyway, like I said, these are a hot seller at store.youlikethepros.com. This again is a Kala S-S-E-B-Y-B-C-E. All right, two left here. This is the Johanna BK35GC all solid wood. Matter of fact, it's all mahogany. Check this out. You got an all solid mahogany top, sides, and back. And like I said, the price goes up a little bit, but the sound, you're going to really like the sound of this particular model. Let me play for you and then I'll talk to you a little bit about this one. It's a big sound, it's full, it's warm. It's just, there's, there's nothing gonna beat the solid wood. So if you can get an all solid wood, I highly recommend jumping into them. I think they sound great. These, by the way, they come in a couple of different models. You can get them with a pickup. Now notice this one doesn't have it, but they do have these particular models in a pickup. I do like the cutaway as well on this one. Gives you access to the higher fret. Ohana did a great job. Great sounding, great feeling, great looking baritone. Again, this is a BK35GC. All right, are you ready for the best of the best? If you're like me, I know you are. This one, the Kanalea, all solid co wood, made in Hawaii. This is the K1B. You're not gonna get any better than this. This is why I play these, and I know you would love playing them as well. Let me play it, and we'll go over it. You get what you pay for. <laughs> These are actually fantastic, made in Hawaii, almost 25 years of ukulele building experience. I mean, just look at this, all solid, koa wood sides and back. This come in a couple different models. They select the K1B, which is just their normal straight koa wood, deluxe, the wood grain starts getting a little bit nicer, and then the premium is just unreal wood grain. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner, if you can jump into these, this is where you want to start. They just feel the best, they sound the best, and you're going to want to pick it up and play it more because you're going to love it. So anyway, they're pricey. <laughs> they're definitely pricey, but they are worth it. In my opinion, the Kanalea K1B Baritone. All right, that's going to do it for our ultimate buyer guide for the best baritone ukuleles on the planet. Doesn't matter, again, if you got small budget, or a high budget, we got the right baritone for you. Hopefully this helped explain the differences between a lot of these baritones, but these again, all available at store.youcollectopros.com. And then once you get them, come on over, youcollectopros.com. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you some free access to this baritone content once you get your baritone from me. So anyway, thanks for being here and uh, we'll see you next time.